to extend the lead. Oh, big toss. He was never, ever in control of that ball. I think that, I think the moment was just, he, I don't think he quite was able to shut out what he, where he was and what he was doing. He, he threw it too far. He nearly towed the baseline and then made a mess. But that's, that's a great learning experience either way. Still just about advantage France. 22-22 with the chance to side out. Nishida. It's all got a little bit tense out there. Well, that really does help France now because it ran Takahashi to go back and serve next. But after that, it's Sakita Safonadera Sakita. So now is an opportunity for France to really take the advantage. Dale four. Every serve that Ishikawa receives. Run. Sensational. Absolutely brilliant. Paul's got to come in just a touch, or, he's, or even if he doesn't, he's got to make sure he's closing the gap next to him and his middle. He's way too far wide because he's worried. But yep. they bring him on as a blocking option. He's only one meter ninety, mind. Still, still twenty five centimeters or so above Sakita. Well, the hands went up, but they didn't go up hard enough. Timothy Carl will go back to serve. And it is set point to France. They're reversing that substitution. So Miura back onto the bench. Sekita back onto the court. And Japan needing a big play. Timote Carl unloads the serve. It's a good first touch. Sekita over to Ishikawa. The block. They can go again. They go the same way again. And Ishikawa takes a deep breath as he pumps one down the line and saves the set point. It was always going this way. And that's what Paul's been worried about this entire time. If he leaves any line, Ishikawa's going to take it. So he's drifting wide and that's opening up space as well for Ishikawa to go in between the blockers. Onodera. Oh, the float serve and Tilly. Four. Oh, wow! Straight to the face, Ran Takahashi, helped to his feet. Well, he's not the one. Yeah, you've still got a nose, Ram. It's still there. Just a little bit flatter than it might have been ten seconds ago. Right then, second set point for France. Now is the chance for the French, over it goes. Pull tour, can't find the floor. Back with Japan. Unbelievable. Ishikawa goes cross court and he's done it again. That was a free ball and then there was a little bit of a mix up for France to who was going to take it. And it just put them out of rhythm. There was a hesitation for Bolter. He couldn't quite get in where he wanted to, get the swing he wanted to. And Japan took full advantage. 25 25. Service needs to go in. Oh, it's a floater into Tilly. Out of the back to four! Big touch on that. <laughs> Must have just caught Takahashi, he didn't catch Kentaro. Third set point. Side out game's gone up a level. It's the skipper call. To run. Nishida! Huge block! Nail four! A long side ball to and then the third time of asking, France, take the first set. Second set. That's good. Tilly was helping out with this one. He knows that the pressure's coming on the uh, on the middle over and to the side or to the side of Baltimore. So he's trying to get in and make a touch. It nearly worked. Kento Miura coming on. It's the blocking replacement again for Japan without a recognized setter on the court. It's Japan. Yeah, they've all, they're all great at setting. It really does. They've just got to say, right, who's going to take it? I'll have it. Yeah, fine. Samiura, so number four. Yeah, four, 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 four. The net. Nishida, the net yeah. take. Oh. Oh. It's a pretty, oh, pretty first touch. Oh, he hits the winner. Ken Samiura off the bench. Onto the scoreboard, Japan back ahead.
Really good play from the kinky club, Sabina Blair. He plays in Division 3 in Japan. He's playing for the national team. Talk about a Hollywood story. And he's just hit a fantastic shot. With the left hand as well. Always worth having a spare lefty, isn't it? Speaking of spare lefty, Yuji Nishida rips the pass the back in the driving seat. Yes, let's left so much space down that line, tempting Nishida. Well, France think there was a service line fault here. The crowd set the rhythm. Nishida goes again. And to be fair, that challenge, it works twofold, doesn't it? It gives Gianni a few seconds to speak to the players. It ices the server as well. Gives him a bit of time to think. Another change being made here. Nishida coming out. Akihiro Fukatsu coming in. So that's the setter change for the rotation. Gives him three front court attackers. Yeah! And now they've got two chances to win the set. Just nice work from Blaine with his uh, tactical changes here. Ran Takahashi, set point. Carl receives to save the set. Adira and Miura say no to Timothy Carl. And Japan having raced to a lead. And apparently. In it. That's what Ford does well. He's always looking for that line, but from a, such a high place, it's really difficult to get what that will put him down. Fukatsu tees up the captain this time. Lovely adjustment in the air from Ishikawa. It's a good battle between the two of them here because Ford's taking away a good bit of space. However, because he's not watched the approach, he's just watched the ball, he's out to lunch with that one. He's got to get across, he's got to line up, and then he's got to wait for the ball to come. But then he's also got the threat of the pipes, he can't do it. Now Miura, to continue, oh, he's completely this hit down. But it's still in! Oh my goodness! They couldn't clip that. Not yet, Diaz, caught! There's a block by France. Might be a net touch by France. Nishikawa's kind of, I think, more in hope than anything. I mean, that serve by Miura well. was very Japanese Division 3. <laughs> but it just happens sometimes, like, oh, but way to make up for it, change and get it over. Here's a change for France. The setter, Kellyanne Mota Pais, coming on to serve in place of Daryl Bultor. Some mullet on the young man. Yeah! 21 years of age, just another experience for him to feel what this is like. A player with a big career ahead of him. And imagine being 21 and being in the mix with Paul and Tonyuti and Brizard. If you are a coachable player who's willing to learn, surely you're going to get better with every session. Tilly, another lovely pass. Japan making their blocks. Diaz on hand. Carl. Now Ishikawa. Too hot for Diaz this time. It was. Diaz made some really good choices in that rally. He's staying deep when everyone was in covering and he made a touch. Then there's three blockers up and he's shifting out wide, he's filling that 4-5 space now and he's unlucky because actually it's come right on the 5 slot because the block didn't quite close the angle. 22-20. Tilly again puts it on a plate. Oh, a handling error, a handling error on Rafael Korf. Which is fine because that was the standard that was set in the first set by Stefano Cesare. So it's fine. That's what the level is. And he stuck to it. No further, no further. Doesn't matter whether it's the first point or match point. Top referees set a level and stick to it.
23-20. Long way back for France now. Ishikawa. Diaz back on the first ball. Huge opportunity. Bukatsu sets the point. Ishikawa.